Hi my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be on foundations that are good for acne prone skin as well as oily skin. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. So during this video, I'm gonna talk about two different types of foundations. Some are powders, some are liquids. Some will be good for both oily and acne prone skin. But I feel as though I have a good mix of the foundations. I'm also gonna touch on some other things that the foundations are good for, such as, you know, if it's cruelty free or if it's vegan or other things things like that just so you know because it's always good to know what's in your products when especially the ones that you're going to be putting on your face so this video is pretty much a part two of a video that I did last year so in the previous video I did talk a lot about what types of foundations are good for acne prone skin and those are going to be the types of foundations where you see in the description where it says non comedogenic non acnegenic oil free, mattifying, things like that. If the foundation doesn't clog your pores, you'll see non-comedogenic. If it doesn't cause acne or less likely to cause acne, you'll see non-acnegenic. So that's just to kind of give you an idea of, you know, what those words mean. If you want to hear more about uh, what types of foundations you should pick if you have acne prone skin, please check out the video that I did about a year ago. I go into that more in depth in the first part of the video. But this video, I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown of some foundations that I think are best suited for those two skin types. So let's go ahead and get into the first foundation. All right, so the first one would be the Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation. And this is the 24 hour undetectable, super long wearing. They kill me with these long names. But anyway, this one's good for oily skin. It's a matte foundation. But what I found with this one is that it's not so mattifying until it's going to suck the life out of your skin. I have created some beautiful looks with this foundation. Um, I have them posted on my Instagram just in case you want to check it out. But this one's also good for acne prone skin. It is non-acnogenic and it is oil free. Now, I also like this foundation because it is medium to full coverage you can build it up and as far as this claims for being long wearing I can't speak to the 24 hour but I have worn it up to eight hours and at the end of that eight hours it still looked relatively good I did not get really oily or greasy however I'm not really oily or greasy anyway I just thought I needed to tell you all that but at the end of eight hours it looked really pretty if you haven't checked this one out you should definitely check it out even if you do have dry skin if you do use the appropriate preps with your foundation, you still could use this one. But remember, oily and acne prone skin, this is one that you must try. All right, so the next one that I have is a powder and this is the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. I got this powder last year or the year before last. I do have some videos on this particular powder. Now, what's good about this one is that it's non-acnogenic as well as non-comedogenic and it is mattifying. So it's gonna be good for very oily skin this one does leave a really pretty finish if you do have pores I found that it does a really good job of blurring those pores also it's cruelty free it's fragrance free it doesn't have any parabens or SLS's if those types of things are important to you but this is a good powder to have if you have oily or acne prone skin all right so the next one that I have is another powder and this is the kind is the new pretty by Tarte I really like this packaging um, you all know that I love packaging but anyway that has nothing to do with this but this is a really good powder if you have acne prone skin because it does have clay in it and anytime you see a powder or a foundation or something like that that has clay in it you know that it's going to be really good for acne prone skin and I say that because clay has the ability to draw out and suck up any oil or debris that can get caught up in your pores and if you have acne prone skin you really do want Want something that's going to be like that so this is a really pretty powder I feel as though it is a little bit longer wearing than a lot of the powders that I'm going to talk about in this video I think that it's pretty the only drawback that I don't like about this particular powder is that it doesn't have a lot of shades I can't remember I think it's nine but if it's more than that I'll put it up on the screen but this is a really good one if you have oily skin or 
acne prone skin. All right, so this next one that I have is by Clinique and this is the Clinique Even Better Refresh Hydrating, Hydrating and Repairing Makeup. Now, no, I know you're thinking Bridget hydrating, but hear me out. This one is non-comedogenic, which means it's not going to cause pores and it is non-acnogenic, which is good, which means it's less likely to cause acne. This particular foundation also has salicylic acid in it, which means it's going to help with the texture in your face. And I know um, from a person who's, who is still struggling with acne at the age of 49 that that using something that has some skincare ingredients in it, especially as a foundation, is going to be beneficial. And that is something that you might want to consider when looking uh, for your foundations. But this one is a good one. I found that the coverage is really good on this one. So if you do have some dark spots that you want covered without, you know, having to apply, apply extra concealers or layer after layer, this is a really good one to consider. And it really does have a very, very pretty finish. It's not dewy. I would say that it has more of a natural finish, but this is another one where I've gotten some really pretty looks. And the reason that I keep talking about pretty looks is because I post a lot of pictures on Instagram and I use a lot of different foundations and this is a good one. So if you have acne prone skin, definitely check this one out. And also if you have oily skin definitely check this one out all right so the next one that i have is by Ilya, and this is a super serum skin tint with a spf of 40. it has niacinamide squalene and hyaluronic acid so i know you're probably side eyeing me right now thinking bridget that's not a mattifying foundation but the reason that I wanted to throw this in with the recommendations is because it's non comedogenic That is very important if you are suffering from acne because you don't want to put anything on your face that's gonna clog pores. You also want to put on a product that has as many skincare ingredients as possible. And this is your guy, or should I say, this is your little lady. This is something to really consider. So, you know, that's just something to make note of. But just remember, if you're looking for a product that is not comedogenic plus has a lot of skincare ingredients, definitely check this one out. So I have one more skin tint before I skirt on back into the foundations. And this is the new Morphe 2 Hint Hint Skin tint and this again is non comedogenic which means it's not going to clog your pores it looks really good on the skin this one is this one has this one has better coverage than this one, way better coverage. I did a video using this one. I'll link it up above just so you can see how it actually performs. It and also has a few other good features. It's water resistant, transfer resistant, sweat proof, and vegan. So this is another one to consider if you have acne prone skin. All right, so the next one that I have is a powder and this one is by Clinique. And this is their Beyond Perfecting Foundation. And this particular foundation is full coverage full coverage okay um and you get a little mirror right here and there's also a little pad or whatever that you can apply it with so this one is good for oily and acne prone skin again it is full coverage it's a natural matte where it's not going to be so matte to where maybe just feel like all of the natural oils and things like that are being sucked out of your skin it does have an eight hour wear which I found to be true I have worn this foundation for that amount of time and it lasted really well it is oil free and fragrance free as well as non comedogenic and non acnegenic that's why I say it's good for both if you have oily skin and acne prone skin this one is definitely the way to go all right so this next one is by Maybelline and I really do like this one this is the Maybelline super stay full coverage powder foundation this is another one that's very full coverage it does not specifically say that it's non comedogenic or non acnegenic so this one would kind this one would be better suited for the folks out there that have oily skin. I feel as though this is something that is really going to do an excellent job of mattifying your skin. If you are trying to cover up any type of acne scarring, this is definitely the powder to go to as well as the one that I just talked about. So yeah, if you have oily skin, this is definitely the powder foundation to see. All right, so this next one is by Ame and this is their Clear Complexion Makeup. This is their Make Myself Clear Foundation and this is good if you have acne prone skin. This one even has an acne 
treatment of salicylic acid. I spoke earlier about another product that had salicylic acid in it. This one does. So if you have acne prone skin, definitely check this one out. I have this one because I've had this one now going on two and a half years. And when I bought this, I was struggling with uh, some acne that I was getting like on the side of my face. And at the time I was wearing foundation pretty much every day. And I picked up this one. This one does help. Again, you know, if you have acne, try to look for foundations or products that have skincare ingredients that are going to help treat your face um, while you're actually wearing it. But this is a good one for acne prone skin. All right, and the last one that I wanna talk about is by L'Oreal. I think this one came out last year and this is the L'Oreal 24 hour fresh wear foundation. And this is totally gorgeous. It looks very pretty on the skin. It's not a heavy foundation. It is really light. It doesn't have any clog pouring fillers. So that means that it's non-comedogenic. Anytime you see that verbiage, you know that it's non-comedogenic. It doesn't have any oil in it. It has a natural finish and it says that it's for all skin types. Now it does say 24 hour wear. I really can't speak to that. Now it does have light to medium coverage. So if you do have any type of scarring, from acne on your face it's not going to do a good job of that but it will prevent your pores from being clogged as well as preventing any future acne so this is one definitely to check out